everybody, it's Matt here and Donna. Welcome back to OK Aussie. Saturday afternoon, it's 5.39 p.m. Diane has been cooking, cooking up a storm. Uh. And already she's totally shattered herself and exhausted herself. I'm okay. That's tired. We've heard that one before at 5.30 in the afternoon. Person who doesn't sleep. I know, you're getting the stony, aren't you? The reason why I'm putting the camera on to record, um, Diane's shin is playing up. She's indicating that she's getting cramps. Having a look at that yes, currently, Diane. Diane's starting to go offline. Right eyelid is closed. Baseline oxygen stats are 97, heart rate's at 77. Current room temperature is 22.5 degrees. <sighs> Little things, small things, big things, activities. Activities such as trying to cook. Has really exhausted her. Now. Mm. It can be hard. Yeah, have a look at the eye. See the face. What am I? Okay, so this is segmental, cranial, dystonia. You've got parts going offline. So let's keep and have a look at what happens as it plays out. What I'm hoping for is that it's not going to be a full blown clinic clinic seizure, but so far I'm seeing some don't cognitive say actions that, that word. may be actually occurring. I know, I don't want to say that word. Alright, anaflexin, does that hurt just you? No, 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 been that way. Okay, dorsiflexion. Okay. The shin, the shin, the whole shin. It's a long one. <laughs> yes, your, me. your tibia is actually very long. I agree. Tell me what you're feeling at the moment. Cramping right? in the shin. Right. The muscles around the shin are cramping. Okay, why are your eyes closed? I don't know. It's just really heavy. Okay. That is the <clears throat> indicators with the facial cranial dystonia. Um, we might see some jaw, we might see some bruxism, which is the grinding of the teeth. Might see some fibrillation of the muscles around the TMJ, the transmedicular joint. So just keeping an eye on her face at the moment. In the shin. That's the problem. That's the problem. Now, when I came in, because I was just cleaning up from doing the cooking, lovely meal that Diane's made by the way, beautiful lasagna, thank you very much for that. We'll sh share you that video um, to the channel so you can see how she goes on that process. But it's something which she's been storing herself up to do for days, if not weeks. She has done no other activity, not even a shower today, she's been bed bed, until and just doing that one action. She woke up well this morning. Uh, would have been about just after 8 a.m. So she had a good sleep, good recovery sleep after the week that she's had. Oh. Do you have much pain across your body at the moment or just here in the leg? A little bit in this arm. Right. Um, but mainly the shin. Okay. And my eyes are heavy. Yes, they are. Aphorism, <sighs> which is weird contractures of the eye and behaviour around cranial segmental dystonia, CBD is yeah. Now Diane's taken her night medications earlier, it's currently 5.43, so that's a really good move and I'm glad she's actually done that, but that was the first indicator of, she knows that something's wrong but she's not really communicating that something wrong. Um, <laughs> It's a, I don't want something to be wrong approach. So if I think it's not there, it won't happen. Eyes going offline, body going offline. We're expecting something. And it's hard. Diane's autistic. And if you're new to the channel, she's got this chromosomal disorder called 22Q, 11.2 deletion syndrome. She's missing a small part of deletion of the long arm of the 22nd chromosome. It means that she's missing about 40 to 60 genes. And it causes her to have ADHD, OCD, autism, Tourette's, multiple different types of genetic based seizures. These sort of activities, which is neurological dystonia, 
which is uh, intense muscle contractures and pain. <laughs> they can be focalized in a singular location or point, or they can be more generalized across the whole body. Put your hot pack on your back. Do you want to put your hot pack on no, your shin? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. Heat can actually help. Muscle relaxants. So she's had a clonazepam pan two milligrams. It's only about ten minutes ago. Sometimes we find oh. stretching oh. is something which can actually help mm. these muscle contractures that come on. Uh, they're controlled by the brain, and in this case, normally a very specific part of the brain, the basal ganglia, because um, it's a movement, a sort of neurological movement disorder. Mm, that's yeah, I find not just the stretching, but actual traction. Oh. We're still experimenting, we've been having to do this alone. Um, so we just trying to work out what does and doesn't work specifically in Brian's case. So, like I said, the heat using the hot pack can help. For some people, hot cold treatments. Um, neurological stimulation in other areas might sometimes take away the sensation or trick the brain into other things. I've found that stretching and... Okay. Okay. No, I need to. No, you don't need to. We don't need you to have any bruises or hurts. You need to just don't squeeze that. Just trying to redirect and scratch into other things. <laughs> Nighttime medications is a routine that Diane goes through. It steps through multiple different stages in the preparation for bedtime. Um, her medications that she's taken early, only slightly early because 6.15 is the first start of that, so it's 5.47 a month, uh, includes the clonazepam and sodium valproate to keep her consistent levels up there. Antibacterials, um, part of that is uh, her immune system is unfortunately compromised with 22Q, so we have to use antibacterials to keep things safe and sound. She would have had a Panadol as well, just for some pain, general pain relief. Oxygen stats currently are at 96%, heart rate's at 66. The sad reality of doing something, a thing, an activity, going out, walking a short distance, trying to cook, whatever it might be, can have its own offset. So pacing, um, preparing Aww. to do the activity, the action, might take several days to do the action, might take several days to recover. That's part of the PEM, post exertional malaise component of the condition. Fatigue is very much part of this condition, along with any CFS, myalgic, and stuff like that, is chronic fatigue syndrome. How is the vegetable sauce? The vegetable sauce in the lasagna was magnificent. That's good. Beautiful. Really like that. Thank you very much. Hey, my body. You hate your body. I'm not surprised you hate <laughs> your body. Yeah, we're gonna get close to the face because unfortunately I worry that things might happen. Oh, we love your face. Yeah. yeah. Now we are recording all of these things for our clinical team so that they can have a look at and see what goes on. Most recently, apart from the various seizure types that Diane's been going through, so McConaughey seizures absent seizures and obviously the tonic-clonic seizures which are more complex. Um, she can also have focal aware seizures. Diane has started to having more dystonic or dystonia which is a contortion, so it's a muscle contracture, part of a movement disorder. Um, it causes a contraction of a certain part of the body or can be overall parts of the body. 
So we've been seeing it plethorism around the eyes, where the eyes can be heavy, can be flickering, can be irritated, can be like um, dry and irritated, might need to have more um, mucus uh, type eye drops to actually help that lubrication. Your shin. Your shin. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Part of this is also because it's segmental, it's multi-faceted parts of the face. So <laughs> transmedial joint, so the jaw bone, um, movement around here, bruxism, which is that grinding of the actual teeth, um, subluxion of the jaw, where the jaw can actually move slightly to the side. Even upper face can be involved where arch um, can fibrillate, could be stuck in a particular position, can have a little twitching. Even the little nose, a bit like, what's it, Sabrina, the little witch? Mm -hmm. Oxygen stats are 93, heart rate 67. We use a pulse oximeter just to record stats as we go along. They get downloaded to um, the laptop and an app that we use to monitor and record, <laughs> particularly these instances in certain periods of the time of the day. Don's oxygen saturation levels have actually been significantly reduced lately. Uh, normal, normally, us, <laughs> us people. 95 to 100 is where you have your saturated oxygen. Um, for people who might have a chronic pulmonary disease, um, they might have less oxygen. Well, Diane's not a smoker. She's not having that sort of condition. She doesn't have some sort of myxomatosis or whatever. So for her, her cardiac um, output hasn't been working correctly. So the valves are not pumping effectively and efficiently, and that's causing deoxygenation as well. And we're getting results um, in the low 80s or even below 80s into the 70s percentages. Now, when things get below 88%, I get more concerned because that's clinically when supplemental oxygen should be being applied. But we just have to keep an eye on her. Obviously, in these times, it might just be this as an episode and nothing else might happen. Hallelujah. Great. We move on. She might recover this in a couple of hours. She might still be tired. She might want to sleep a couple of times because that's what's making her feel this way lately. But she may also go into um, the F word, seizures, such as chronic, chronic seizures. So we'll just be mindful, being prepared for that. And um, <clears throat> we've given them medicinal CBD early as well. That'll help as a an anti-nausea. I um, helps with pain. You talk a lot. Inflammation. I do. Well, people just don't want to watch you just sleep or doing weird uh, things. Yeah, I'll sleep in. Well, what are you doing with your eyes then? No, I can't close my eyes. You can't, can you? It's out of your control, sweetie. It's all right. Don't stress. You can't because your brain's not letting you do that. Your brain's taking over the nerve response in making your body do certain things in certain parts of your body. It might be focalised <laughs> to a certain location, so it can still be focalised um, because it's only just in the eyes, or it might spread and become more generalised as it affects more body parts simultaneously, or neurologically click over um, into other aspects. So we look at this as a pre sign of something neurological for her as well. Oxygen sets of 93, heart rate is 68. Anything else in your body? Any other pain? Shoulder okay? Uh, cool, put that down. Just this forearm here. Forearm? I thought you've only got one arm. I don't know why it's called forearm. Forehead. Have got four heads, it means front, doesn't it? F O R E. The front of. So this is the front part of the arm. I never arm. understood that one either. Okay. Because I think they should have asked what this is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, some things I don't think make literal sense, do they? Everyone understands literalness, but nobody understands that bullshit. Yeah, fair enough. Oxygen stats are improved to 96, heart rate's at 64. It's not like four. No. It's F O R C. Correct. Not F O. You are. You Mm, or F O R, the English oh, language. Mm. Great things, fun, isn't it? The English no, language. No, it wasn't. It took me eleven years to work it out. I know. Everyone <laughs> else knew in a year of school. Yeah. How's that feeling with that traction on the arm? Sometimes the overuse, not sometimes, it's not really actually an overuse, but it's using it, um, such as when Dawn's been using her phone, that's why she's now using the phone stand, as you can see here, this device to hold her phone. Just the action of holding her phone has caused um, a lot of 
focal dystonia in the hand. So it starts cramping, distorting into weird postural positions like this, and that flexation locks in and she can't move it. So even the action today of cooking, hey Mill, simple Mill, overuse of the right dominant hand. You can see the eyes as you look at Dino as well. One eye semi-open, the other eye, right eye not. What I'm also looking for is any other sort of signs of movement around the face. Mm, maybe my eyes open. I eat the eye crutches. <laughs> yes, we were talking about that recently. We were looking at um, some American yeah. research. Um, and there was a device called an eye crutch. It's actually a pair of glasses with like a hood part on the top part of the glasses that you put on. And it causes the eye, yeah. it's mainly obviously for the eyelid, because part of that muscle, that flexor muscle of the actual eyelids doesn't function correctly in this particular um, circumstance. We're finding there's a lot of sudden tiredness around oh, wow. um, this activity as well. So that's why we'll see Diane yawn, like I said, only just not even six o'clock yet. 95% oxygen stats, 69 heart rate. Alright, so wait and see. We look at what's happening. We keep an eye on her. Dread states that once before a <laughs> contraponic seizure is that I don't want to have one. <laughs> Nine or four well but unfortunately I can't get out of it. It's gonna happen. Right, coming in. Coming in. Yeah. Sublingual on Danzatron, four milligrams, five fifty six PM. Just to look at the nausea. So, not febrile, it's only 36.9, so that's good. So it's a general hug. Done the baseline blood pressure just to see how she's going. Because she's sitting upright with posture, and probably 10 points higher than lying down. Um, orthostatic intolerance, or particularly POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome that Diane has um, causes her blood pressure to sometimes be quite low, uh, sub 90, so maybe 85 over 55. So I just want to see where it's at. It's also the indications for me to know if there's pain, other things going on. Hey Google, stop. We use Google Home automation throughout the house for reminders, medications, timers, things that Diane can control. It also controls things like the lights. Okay, so fairly atypical for Diane, 95 over a 68, 71 heart rate. Now, if she was lying down, that would probably be about 10 points lower. At both um, levels. Okay. Yeah, you're okay for now, but you're not in any pain at all. Conscious that if she seizes in the sitting up position, that she might fall to the side and hit her head. Supervision, um, a bit like when the falls risk, it's the same concept. Uh, you've got to keep close eye on Diane. It's the case of natural reaction is to try and contract the side muscle so that she's not getting as nausea. So you sit upright so it doesn't rise up, particularly things like GERD. But in doing so, she can sink up, pass out, or go into an upright seizure. 
uh, that can cause more pressure on your neck with the CCI, cranial cervical stability doesn't help, or she might fall to either side, hit her head on the side, things like that. So just need to keep an eye on her during this phase. As with all phases, when the neurological condition is happening, all the seizures happening, to be honest. This is the risk that people who are by themselves or don't have supports around them um, may have. Now, if Diane was here by herself, what would she do? We do have an alert button so that she can press that and that goes straight away to my phone. If she's cognitively able, she could try and message me and alert me if I was out of the home and I'd be able to raise the home. We do have ambulance cover, so I could actually arrange um, ambulance to get here to be able to support her through this. And we do have supports um, downstairs in, in the overnight on sites. Now, normally they don't start until 10 pm at night and they go through to 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but with the problems downstairs that we've been having with other neighbours, they're actually on site for 2 pm. Okay, muscles in the mandible, so the jaw. This is part of the dystonic reaction that we expect to see at the moment. So it's multifaceted, it's been a progression, so it's multi areas that have been going on. So it's out of her control. It's different muscle contractions, muscle movements. Sometimes rapidly that can occur. Now some actions can be seen in the areas of tics, such as you might see with um, Tourette's, but these are not in that space, it's in the dystonic space. Now, you're going to be careful with your legs. Donna's just gone to a very comfortable position. She's hyper flexible, hyper mobile. So she's just gone into a um, sit where she's tucked her leg in. Now again, same thing. If she goes into a seizure, we've got to be careful that she doesn't put more pressure onto the hip or onto the knee joint, causing anything to sublux or dislocate out. It will give her some stability, so it actually helps base her for sitting up a little bit easier. Okay, so here we go with the mouth. Where are you going? Resting. <laughs> You're resting, eh? You can rest by lying back if you want to do that, please. Come on. Uh. <laughs> Ow, you rock. Oh, I'm sorry, princess. My apologies. Because that's a 95, heart rate 65. Uh. Current time is 6.01 p.m. Oxygen is currently 95. Yes, it's good. I'm happy campus as far as that goes. Mm. Has your nausea settled down? Yes. Great. Lovely, lovely. Not really. <laughs> right, so we might see this happen a couple of times where she'll roll over as if she's going to sleep. Not nice. <laughs> but she's not really sleeping. If she wants to. But here's where we have to look at her carefully and keep an eye on her so that she doesn't go into a seizure at this point. Okay, thrashing of the legs is very much a dystonic um, symptom as well. So it's not really a myclonus action. So you can get myclonus, which is more minor ticks or jerks of legs or arms. Uh, we're seeing the arm position as well, so we're getting a lot of rapid movement. Oh. Okay, seizures. <sighs> 603. It's okay. Can you get back, please. No. No. Oh. Heart rate's gone up to 70. Oh. I can't, sweetie, because this is. So this running action, um, motoring of the legs, I oh, know. Dystonic seizures, we'll see this come through. You can see the facial muscles that are working as well. <laughs> Tight closing of the eye, grimacing. The legs. Yeah, the leg action, I get it. There are some actually very interesting historical notes with this particular condition. Um, some of the famous artists of the early old centuries have actually captured this in um, painting. 
as well as also even in sculptures where they've captured the tight grimacing, the closing of the eye sensation um, as part of their artwork. Um, so these were the earlier collections, maybe two or three hundred years ago, when these symptoms were first sort of determined. A French guy, um, I think it was in the 90, early 1900s, diagnosed and came up with this combination, but realising <coughs> about 30 years prior to that, that um, <clears throat> the whole cranial um, segmental dystonia was the symptoms and the condition was recognised. You see the eyebrows, you see the eyes, you see this whole body moving at the moment. It's not fun, it's not comfortable, it's going to be actually very exhausting for her too. I'm obviously cautious of things such as dislocation and subluxions that occur, um, bruising that might occur from obviously banging, hitting. All these activities are totally out of her control, so frustrating when you have no control of your own body. So the ASMs, anti-seizure medications that I've been providing both the medicinal CBD but particularly the clonazepam should actually help to relax the muscles in the body, reduce the intensity, hopefully reduce the um, duration of this and settle it down. <laughs> if it doesn't or if it actually goes into another step such as more of a tonic type seizure then I might have to implement further emergency medication at that point. So I'm watching and obviously monitoring as we go. It sucks on or on? On. Okay. Go. Stoopling actions, hands in front of the face, bring them together in front of the body are quite common seen in her seizure patterns. <clears throat> From a previous contrast CT scan, the stomach has actually got um, bilateral calcification of the basal ganglia scene. Genetically we know that she's got 22Q, there's multiple um, literature, medicinal or medical journals that actually point to 22Q with dystonia, myclonus with dystonia, um, also into PD, Parkinson's disease. Now Parkinson's or Parkinsonian symptoms can be seen with those patients with 22Q as well. Uh, and this fits into that same sort of towards that category with the activities of dystonia um, seen in a movement disorder. So that's a 97, heart rate is 66, current time yeah. 6.08 p.m. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm not still getting the leg action behind as you can see. got some susceptibility of the right shoulder, particularly having an anterior full dislocation previously or breaking, um, which is what's a Hillman sac injury of the supporting structures around this glenohumeral joint. <clears throat> so she's more susceptible, particularly during ticks and activities like this, to having more subluxion or full dislocations again. So we're very conscious of that. Where are you going there? Um, you're gone. 
I think we might be going in and out to Perth. Never think about it yet. Still seeing some leg movement happening. Motoring movement of the lower jaw. I can give you a value which will help you relax even further. If you're able to swallow, it will help you. And then the way we're going at the moment, I don't think it's going to stop. So it'll actually help you. It's one of the best things for you at the moment. So. Yes, I do. See how it's distortion, what's going on, the contractions, the weird posturing of the hand. See the thumb tucking in. Okay. So this is generalised. You've got multi points of dystonia happening across the body from leg running action, hand distortions across multiple joint structures, facial positions as well. <clears throat> I'm going to give you this volume if you're able to swallow for me. Now, you can put it into your mouth. Getting her in between when she's cognizant to understand the instructions that I'm giving, when she's got enough muscle tone to be able to swallow without causing dysphagia or, in this case, maybe asphyxiation. It's really important. Eyes working. No. <laughs> Do you think your eyes are working? They're open, aren't they? Your right eye is about three to five mils open, your left eye is only just opening. Why? Oh, I feel I can see. <laughs> I can see clearly. I can see. Excellent, but your eyes aren't fully the best open. Best I could see the whole time. Yeah, no, it's okay. Why? It's okay. Let's go. What's happening? Well, with the dystonia, this will settle down. This is just for the moment. It causes the hooding of the eyelids to actually drop. You see contractual My muscles. Neck. I'm so sorry, sweetie. I hurt my neck. I'm not surprised. Now, if you're finished, I can actually put your contraction down this way. It's up to you if you want to swing around now to try. You want to try and do that? Is that doing it again and I'm itchy in there and I can't get in. Okay. We've got <laughs> contraction of the yeah. external. Where my fingers touching is where it's itchy. Okay. okay. I'm the finger. You're doing really, really, really well. I know, I know, I get it. Can you straighten? Today. Can you straighten your fingers for me? Yeah. All fingers straighten? Ow! Okay, Ow. relax. What are you pressing? I'm not. I'm actually not. <sighs> it's actually the contractures that you're going through by doing that action and trying to extend our tendons. And that's why it causes the pain response, okay? So relax it in this comfortable yeah. position. I'm just going to try and pull it forward. Until I see you terminate, then I can actually put you this way and I can stretch you in your neck. This finger length is. Can it stretch? Stretch it? No. Okay. Now, I don't want to overstretch out. A contracted tendon. I don't want to have an avulsion of the tendon coming away from the uh, bone. Oh. So I'm going to be very careful once I'm in a you dystonic know, posture. Right, Shola? Oh, no. you can't test it. Is it dangerous? This is your Google nurse. Go and take your 6.15pm night nurse. She I has. did. Shut up. <laughs> she did very well, Google. She's ahead of you. Thank you. Oxygen stats are 96. Heart rate's at 65. I've okay. got it. Good. Sometimes I find pressure on tendon points can actually help release. Let's actually swing you around and let's see if we can help your neck, okay? No guarantee, but let's give it a go. Uh -huh. Okay, lie down. Okay. I'm here. Okay, switch, switch down. Yep, one, two, three. Let's see Gone off. Yep. Okay. Current time is 6.14. Internal temperature is currently 22.6. We're still getting motoring of the legs. So we may not be over this at all. And I don't think
think so. And that's why I'm just going to be very careful with any traction that I do of the neck while she's still got potential ticks or actions going through. It's on the right side. Okay, this side, just to confirm. Yeah. Okay, good. I say confirm because Diane doesn't always know left and right. Um, she's dyslexic, yeah. which means she can also flip things around. Dyscraphia, dyscalphic. All because of again 22Q, uh, you get uh, learning dis uh, um, delays, uh, you'll get uh, intellectual developmental uh, delays, global developmental delays uh, as a young child. Uh, uh, Are you doing that for a reason? Uh, uh, You're causing uh, strain, can you stop? Uh, or no? Uh, good. Okay, very rhythmical. I can't do your neck while you're doing this. <laughs> A lot of force behind that action when you feel the quadricep. Oh, this is gonna hurt yeah. you. <laughs> I know, this is gonna hurt you afterwards. Ow, ow, ow. I heard something go. Please don't do that. Oh no. I don't like that. You make it hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, but I'm just gonna engage the tendon on top. Yeah. And just to see if we can actually stop that action for you. Yep, sorry. But we'll actually stop it and we'll save you hurting yourself more. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now they won't move. That's okay. That all is off. Deactivated you. I turned you off. You're just a robot. <sighs> I found you on off switch. X Men. <laughs> Are you an X Men? No. You're a robot in disguise. Bumblebee tuner. Did you get to have the puzzle? That's for men in black. Oh. Wrong one. But you like the puzzle, don't you? Little what click across on the left hand side. Oxygen steps are 96, heart rate 70. Yeah. Men in black. Men in black. Yeah. Men in black. Yeah. You're thinking of. Um, oh, no, it's not X Men. Transformers. No. That's the ones that have the robots that change from like cars into. <laughs> Big robots. I'm not, I'm not, huh? I'm not, no. 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 You don't get it. I don't. I don't know what's I'm in your mind. I'm thinking of the robots okay, from you're... the X-Men. See you how I did that tendon when I saw the, both the quadriceps and the logo? It probably only lasts about anywhere 15 to 30 seconds and then may There's restart the symptoms again. Ah, That's very common in apparently with dystonia. Sorry. Engaging the shoulder. Just There's to try and a that scene down. of robots in X Men. Yeah. I know I'm right. Oh. Hey Google, is there robots in X Men? On the website yahoo.com, they say first appearing in 1965, X Men number 14, the Sentinels were introduced as the creation of a scientist named Bolivar Trask. Believing mutants would rise up and wipe out the human race, Trask used his genius in cybernetics I to create giant you. robots. I told you. Giant robots. Well, not giant ones, but like they had a whole rows and rows and rows, like an army. Or they looked like people. You're thinking and, of the. And they were robots. The ones you And thinking, they were going to take over. You're thinking of the ones with Will Smith. Yes, X Men. That was an X Men. Yes. Was it? Hey Google, is Will Smith in X Men? The movie. I don't know, but I found these results on search. No, that was you. Hey Google, stop. Right, hey just, Google, okay, is Will reverse. Smith stop, on stop, X Men stop, stop, movie? Hey Google. <laughs> Are you trying to set everybody's Google yeah. home automation up at home hey, and watching Google. you? I don't know. Hey Google, stop! <laughs> hey Google, stop! Hey Google, what are the actors in X Men movie? Oh God, there could be a hundred actors. Shh. Shh. X Men 
again has a cast of more than 60 actors. There you go. Hugh Jackman, James McAvoy, and yes. Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart. From Star Trek. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Okay, stop for the way you're good. Then, well, who, who was Will Smith with? <laughs> what was that movie? <laughs> you are so confused. I'm not really keeping up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to distract from the, from the pain. Okay. What are your legs feeling like at the moment? Getting anywhere? Very stressful. Very restless. Okay. I wish I'm confused now. Oh, well, we'll just have to watch a few movies and find that out, won't we? Good excuse. Men in Black. Yeah. Okay, Wilson. But that wasn't the one with all the robot looking. Hey droids. Google. God, please no. <laughs> Did Men in Black have robots no, in it? In the one you're thinking of. <laughs> no, Google hates you. Hey Google. <laughs> Seriously. In the Men in Black movie, was there robots? Robots to no, fight you're me. thinking of a different one. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Someone, hopefully, in the comments will be able to tell us and put us out of our misery before Google has to be exhausted asking all these questions. Hey, Google. <laughs> what is the synopsis oh. of Men in Black movie? I wish I had one of those little pens that they, they take the, the memory away. Click, look into the light. That Click. was... That was Men in Black, Black. remember? Hey, Google! So, are you getting everybody's Google upset? <laughs> Can you stop it? Say, hey, Bob, or something, will you? Is Men in Black... I don't look. know. Yes, I see? I these results on search. He, what? he doesn't even know what to search for when he's got results for you. Read me the results. I can't because there's not to do about it. Disposing or ceasing to use a depreciating asset. What the heck is Google even giving you results for? Hey Google, clear. Stop asking Google stuff. It's annoying. Sorry, I don't understand. Stop. You're playing stupid. Right, what are your legs doing? I don't know, but my socks are going down crooked. Yeah, but your heel's not on the front face. But no, and no. this is not okay with me. <laughs> Not happy, Jan. Not happy, Jan. Okay, can we get back to your neck? Then? No. Can we get back to your neck? Okay. Otherwise, I'm not doing this. I'm trying my best. And <laughs> what? Annoying Google. Neurological problems. Ne Leah, neurological problems. Oh my back, man. Oh my back. I'm not surprised. Your back's gonna be. I sore. cooked you a lasagna. Be nice. Otherwise, I'll ring Garfield because he wants it. Garfield wants my lasagna. He does. Okay, that's fair enough, I guess. Garfield loves lasagna. He does. We love Garfield. Oh. Okay. Garfield is more important than any other cat in the world, isn't he, Willow? Yes, he is. Willow's relaxing over here, mind my you. Back. You can see that he's over there. My back. Now, my back. We it's have got through back. your back seizing my up back. or seizing. Seizing my, my middle, my lower back. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think that's going to work. No, I think so. So I'm going to disengage both tractional muscles on either side of the spine. I'm really stiff. I know you are. Really stiff. Okay. You can roll ball with me as a, as a ball. I'm stiff. <laughs> <laughs> what? End of world stuff. I'm just going to want to be an oar. An oar? <laughs> the shit she says. Seriously. <laughs> I don't care. It just comes out. I don't know where it comes from. Not always. I'm not normal. <laughs> I think, Everybody. I think knows we've worked that. that part out already. If you haven't, right? Has the back seizing it's stopped? It's settled, but can you not stop? What you were doing? Can I not stop? What was that? That was a gurgling of the dishwasher. I put it on after your cooking. Thank you, sir. Some had to be hand washed, and some had to be done with the dishwasher. Is that helping the back? Yes. Okay. So this is actually a good traction release of this lower back muscle. Was there anyway. much hand washing, sorry? No, it was okay. There was a few things. Bigger items that won't fit into the little shelf dishwasher as they go. Sorry Change. About that. This is helping, it's at least just Okay, I'm glad mm -hmm. it's helping. 
Thank goodness for that. Ow. Now I think we've got out of the whole overall tonic tonic or seizure right, sort of right, vicious stage. So. I'm seeing that the face is returning to normal sort of asymmetrical balance. Is it? Yeah, it appears to be. I don't think you've got full opening, so there's a bit of uh, facial stuff going on as it is, but so it uh, seems to be a lot better. I'm feeling less tired, jumpy in less my jumpy. legs. Good. I'd say by the timing wise, it's now 6.24pm, um, that the medications provided initially the clonazepam, ow, the medicinal ow, CBD, ow, and ow. then the Valium that I provided, yeah. I think that have kicked in to just relax it, you. Yep, yeah, but they are actually the no, known, known medications to actually help this particular condition. So that's all we've got to work with at this stage. How's the rest of your body going? Any other soreness Settling after you can see? Settling down, my neck is still sore. Okay. <clears throat> Are you able to lower both legs down, gently? Yes, I can. Okay. I have more control now. You've got control? Yes. Of your brain and your body, or just your body? My body, I think. Okay. Particularly my legs. No worries. going to hold the stretch for a little bit, just with the stretch reflex to get up and relax. Good. Very good. Nice and relaxing. We've got the lovely neighbours banging us. I don't know. I don't care. We don't need stress from them right now. Not at all. Thank you very much, Lou. Hand posturing. Let's have a look at a few things. Fingers movement, okay. It's all good. All good. Shoulder oh, and elbow. Sore, yeah. Okay, post seizure we commonly do get um, frontal lobe um, headaches. They tend to self dissipate pretty quickly without need of additional medications. Your jaw muscle, because of the involvement of your jaw, lower mandible, sometimes the TJM can hurt. Is that sore in this position here? Not too much, no, but it's a little. A little? Okay. Don't has got um, subluxation. Sub Luxion of both of the gems on either side. Um, sometimes I have to be careful that they don't go fully out or we have to do certain steps to reduce it back in. But they're so when you press. Yeah. Got the little pressure points to help. Okay, just now involved. I'm still seeing this left eye not fully open as it really? were. Asymmetrically, you're not in balance. Why? I don't know. Oh, I don't good. know why you're crooked. Feels good? Ah, oh, the pressure. Know. And then we'll release it out. Oh, why is it tight in there? Because these muscles that are around the jaw, which go into spasm, so lock in. Painful. And if it's slightly out in any shape, we'll just draw your jaw all the way down. Good, nice and even. So you're not out. That's correct. Your tongue okay? You haven't bitten your tongue, cheek, no, or lips? Lovely. It's all good. Alright, so we've got a slight bit of a headache across I the front. Do I have a tension there. Tension, I'm not surprised because oh, you're using and engaging tension. a lot of facial muscles yes. and tendons through that process. Oh, that's heaven. That's heaven? Cool. Pressure pointing is a really easy thing to apply if you know the right spots without having to apply medications all the time. Certain pressure points help more than others, so if you get to know that, you can just do a bit of looking at oh. reflexology, pressure pointing, acupressure, acupoint, all those sort of things are actually quite good. I always follow the um, Chinese traditional medicine approach. I think it's a good balance if eclectic you can bring both West and East medicines together and utilize them. Yeah, I agree. I concur. You concur? Well done. Not everything has to be, let's go strike for some sort of medicinal option, you know, let's shove a pill or a tablet, that's a big pharma maybe approach. Maybe it's that. I concur. Was that um, the one in pink? Uh, Legally, Legally blonde. Legally blonde. That's right, in pink, I said. Yes. Yes. Oh. I know, that's probably your most source point, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm seeing your body relax a lot more. So, the use of both ASMs, anti seizure medications in this case, have actually helped stop it. We haven't gone into full tonic clonic seizures in this particular rotation. We've seen a lot of full body I stonic took action, my which is good. early because I was cooking. Yep. I didn't want it to happen. No, that's very good. Okay, that's really good. Helpful if you can I obviously I tell me that you're feeling no, that way. No, no, I think I had a focal seizure before. 
if you think you had a focal seizure before, did you want to tell me about that? No, because there wasn't enough time. It ended up in, in whatever this is. Yeah. Oh, that, a, that's a, the bit that's the sore. This part here of the neck? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. So a bit of a neurological shit show, really, to be honest. That's what this is. That's why I took the medicine a half, 45 minutes early. Yeah, well, I'm glad you did, but you need to also tell me. So when you see or feel you something... You were eating your dinner. That makes no difference. The faster or more that we know up front, I can then take further actions to stop things going into this. Earlier implementation of medications to be quickly in touch stops and the symptoms. Cure my interception problems. I know. For You're your just going to suddenly fix your autistic interception and communication. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> I wish. Oh. Mine's so tight in the bands. Please release it because it is. It is very tight. So we've got a couple of cross stretches to do. Oof. Stretching is a simple thing that anyone can also learn to do. Um, just take it slowly. Find the point of resistance. Push up to it. Don't do ballistic stretching, bouncing, stretching it. This causes more muscular tears. They used to do that. I know. The old forms of dance, calisthenic and all those sort of exercises. In the old days, the aerobics in the old days used to do that. But it's actually really bad on us. It engages the stretch reflex and actually causes micro tears of the muscle fibres. So this sort of static stretching or a bit of resistive stretching is always going to be the best way of doing things. I'm just doing this gently on alternating angles to disengage either side of the neck at the moment. So what did we have? Well basically Diana will say she's had a focal seizure before this all started so that was in the um, preictal behavioural of what she felt. She felt something so she took obviously her nighttime medication about 35-45 minutes earlier than intended. We've gone into a series of dystonia type actions with focal dystonia seen in locations of like the hand and obviously across the face. Thatcherism, which is in the eyes and eyelids. Um, bruxism, which is with the grinding of the teeth. Um, the lower mandible was engaged as well. Um, we've got full body dystonic response and obviously this running leg action, so more of a dystonic seizure um, behavior. Oh. Just coming like that gently. I wanted to do some resin. You wanted to do some resin art? Well, at the moment, I'm afraid you're not going to Why? tonight. You're going to be relaxing this. Why? You're going to be recovering because you've done a thing today. You've done a big thing. Right. Oxygen stats are 87% right now. Heart rate is 70%. Now, remember, when it goes below 88%, that's my threshold where we'd say, hey, clinical um, point of supplemental oxygen should be considered or reviewed. We don't have access to that because that's what we're trying to work with as a hospital to deal with all of these symptoms and things. No comment. Can I do a mini box? No. Why? Because I'm going to put my foot down. But my ADHD brain needs stimulation. It is currently 6.32. Let's make it's a deal. It's early on a Saturday night. Okay. So let's... Do, 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 do. Saturday, Saturday night. night. But let's make do, it... Do, do, do. Let's negotiate. Let's see how you are in an hour or an hour and a half from now. In an hour's time from now, we'll see. If your heart rate and oxygen stats are perfect and all these other symptoms are gone, we might do a mini ball. How's that sound? <laughs> I have no comment. She's just giving me the look. Arms are in that posture thing. It's like, mm, I will tell you. ADHD is horrible. It's like it's the antithesis of what you actually need in a situation like this. I you need, need to have life. the anti ADHD. You need to be able to relax. You need to go mm. ah, chill. You need the chill vibe. You need I'm to just go, too chill. Yeah, well, she might feel a little bit different too once the medications okay. have gone to full effect. My neck needs a lot of vigor. Yeah, shake, yeah, shake. yeah, yeah. Shake, shake, shake. Guys, thank you very much for Isn't sticking around through this. Going back up again. Let's have a look. Oxygen stats are nice, back to 95. Heart rate's Yay. at 66. Thank you very much for playing the game. Thank you very much for sticking around and um, yeah, seeing what we do. Now remember, we're not medical professionals, not doctors, so we're not here to give medical advice to you. If you need that, you go and see your doctor, your primary care physician, your specialist. That's your job to do. Um, what we're doing is just sharing for information and education and entertainment purposes. Diane's experience of life, not very entertaining, but it's her life with 22Q, a chromosomal disorder. 
what she has to deal with, what she has to put up with. So what, if you don't have to put up with it, be grateful. Be grateful. Uh, <laughs> what we do as a couple, um, I've been together with Don for about 33 years, and what I do as a carer. I, I know, right? <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to put up with. You're a lot in a small package. You're a lot. Thank you very much. And thank you for the lasagna today. But I'm sorry about you. I hope it tastes good. It tasted brilliant. But Next time we're doing two times bechamel sauce. Yeah, more, more bechamel. Add to that one, definitely. We both agree Guys, on give that. us a big thumbs up of encouragement just for Diane just to keep her motivated as she goes through this. It's not fun. You can see the pain, the discomfort, let, and the disruption. Tell him, from Diane let me do art and, and something fun. We'll see. We'll negotiate that as we go along. Who knows? We'll try. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see more of our, con our content as we go along. And of course, um, comments, please uh, let us know. Thoughts, ideas, suggestions or um, questions that you might have. We do try and help where we possibly can. And we'll see you in another episode real soon. Bye for now, guys. Bye.